you will recall that there are three types of ultrasound imaging used to assess fistulas, two-dimensional or 2D black and white, color, and Doppler. In this bed mastery lesson, we'll learn more about 2D and color. We use 2D imaging to measure the outflow vein's diameter and depth and to examine for any blood clot within it. This image shows a normal outflow vein in 2D longitudinal view, identifiable by the all-black lumen. This second image shows an outflow vein containing clot, which appears as a gray tone. When using the 2D option, you will need to adjust the brightness settings. When the brightness is turned too low, the image will appear black, as shown in this video. When turned too high, gray and white tones appear and can be mistaken for artifacts. The brightness should be set somewhere between these two extremes. Color ultrasound is very helpful in identifying and confirming blockages within the vein. In this color image, you can see a void of color, which indicates a clot in the vein. Compare this with the 2D black and white image showing the same clot. Color on ultrasound normally shows as red or blue. Red represents flow moving away from the heart toward the hand while blue represents flow moving in the opposite direction from the extremity toward the heart. Therefore, traditionally, red represents the inflow artery, or a normal outflow artery, and blue represents the outflow vein, or an outflow artery affected by steel. However, unlike other ultrasound testing, the color assignments for fistulas are only relevant for the inflow and outflow arteries. The orientation of the color is irrelevant for the outflow vein, and frequently changes between technologists and labs. Color scale controls the sensitivity of the color application produced by the movement of blood flow. It is a frequently used control that you will need to adjust on the machine to get the optimum image. The color scale can be visualized on the color bar in the upper right of the ultrasound screen. It is displayed as a velocity as seen on this ultrasound image of the inflow artery from a brachiocephalic fistula. The color scale has been set at 86.6 .6 centimeters a second, displayed at the top and bottom of the scale. This velocity represents the minimum velocity of blood cells that will be translated into color on the screen. The red color on the scale accounts for blood flow away from the heart, and blue for flow toward the heart. Both directions will have a set minimum velocity of 86.6 .6 centimeters a second. The black line in the middle of the scale represents no velocity or more specifically, no Doppler shift. A decreased scale will allow lower blood flow velocities to be translated into color, while an increased scale will only pick up high velocities. The video you're about to see shows color scale being adjusted. The velocity in the vessel is the same throughout the video. At the beginning, the color scale is decreased to be more sensitive, showing lower velocity blood cells. Toward the end, the scale is increased only detecting higher velocities that occur during systole. This is considered to be a good color fill for a preoperative artery, as there is no flow during diastole. This still image shows another example of optimal color fill of the vessels. As a fistula is a high-flow, high-velocity system, color scale is often increased to a very high velocity at the beginning of the ultrasound. For example, in a preoperative upper extremity artery, color scale is set to accept blood velocities of around 25 to 40 centimeters a second. In a fistula, the color scale can be set to around 80 to 125 centimeters a second because of the high velocity and flow volume. When high velocities are picked up, an artifact called color aliasing occurs. This is where extremely bright colors are seen within the areas of high velocity, as shown by the two areas in this image. Aliasing is a very useful tool to locate stenosis or narrowing of a vessel. This is because when the vessel lumen diameter decreases due to stenosis, velocity through that area increases. This challenges an already maxed out color scale and the color becomes very bright due to the color aliasing. While color is extremely useful to evaluate outflow vein stenosis, it can have a limitation called a color brewery artifact. This is similar to the palpable thrill or audible brewery of a fistula that you need to check as a practitioner. It is a constant, strong, pulsatile vibration. 
A color brewery happens in an outflow vein stenosis because when the vessel narrows, the faster blood flow in that area creates a vibration, or brewery. The vibration is so intense that on ultrasound, it creates the artifact of a color brewery, as shown in this image. It looks like a speckling of color on the screen that can spread outside the vessel walls and obscure the view of the stenosis. This video of a color brewery shows its strong, pulsatile, vibrating nature. Presence of a color brewery tells us that there is a stenosis, but we must then rely on 2D as well as Doppler waveforms to evaluate the stenosis further. Join me in the next Med Mastery lesson, where we'll learn about using Doppler imaging. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.